Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingerSlyShop.com bringing you another fly tying video today. Today I'm bringing you a hopper pattern, a uh, very easy pattern, another one using foam. Uh, you know, we got this 5 mil foam in at the shop now and it works real good for a lot of different flies and this is just another fine example of what you can use it for. And I've been tying it in two colors, a dark brown and a light brown mostly. I have some greens and yellows too, but the natural brown colors is more what I tend to stick with. Uh, I'm going to show it to you in the vise in a dark brown and then I'm going to tie it in a light brown so you get to see the two different ones. Anyhow, really easy to tie, just you know, a little bit of deer hair, some foam, and some rubber legs and that's all that's to it. So let's get into tying it. Here you're going to see it in the vise and then the material list to tie it. Alright guys, here you see the fly in the vise. Like I said, this is the dark brown one. I really like the dark brown one and uh, you know, I like the light brown too. So I'm going to show it to you in a light brown. Let's get into tying it. For a hook, what we're going to use for a hook is a fire hole 839 in a size 12. Get that in the hook. It's just a you know standard streamer hook there and a size 12 streamer hook. Really easy to use. For thread, what we're going to use is some 210 black. When I'm working with foam, I like to use 210 a lot. It just, you know, allows you to cinch down on that foam really nice and uh, not worry about breaking your thread. So we're just going to start that on there. And what I'm doing for the body of this is going to be a foam body. Now, the one I showed you here was dark brown in the vise, and the one I'm going to tie it in is a light brown. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece, oh, what's that, about two to three inches long, really probably closer to two inches, and I'm going to cut it into strips. You can see my strip here. That strip is about an eighth of an inch wide. It's about the size of the hook gap in my fly there. It's the size I want for this. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ends, and I'm going to snip off the ends and just make, you know, a little angle, a little, whatever you want to call it there. Cut the, cut the ends, leave a little bit, not sharp on the top, not make a point. But you can see what I did. Make it almost round. We're going to sit this on top of the grasshopper. And I'm going to go about a half a hook length to stick off the back here. Okay, and my foam would be above where the barb was if you're tying on a barbless hook. And then I'm just going to make about two or three lighter wraps and then a couple heavier wraps. Okay, and then we're just going to come up you know, about an eighth of an inch maybe. And we're going to make segments in this. I'm going to make three segments to this fly. And each one's going to have two or three wraps. And we're just going to make sure that we keep it on top of the hook. By doing that, to do that, we're just going to light wrap and then a tight one. And then we're going to get up here to the eye. We're going to put one more right behind the eye here. Okay. Now, if you want a good thing to do is hop over on the bottom side. If you have some super glue. If you see this super glue here, this Gorilla super glue really like this stuff. I've been using it a lot lately. Um, it doesn't flow out real fast. It's just, it's nice to work with. I've been, I like it a lot. It's not a gel. Um, it says Impact Tough Formula on it. And I really like it. So, if you're looking for a super glue to try, try it. Picked it up at Walmart. Um, now, okay, now we have that on there. We're just going to spin this back around. Get the fly right, right side up. Alright, next thing we're going to do here is add some legs. For the legs on this fly, what I'm using is some Silly Legs. These are olive-colored Silly Legs. They, um, just the rubber ones. And what I do is I tie a knot in it. You can see it's just a regular overhand knot here. And I'm going to tie a knot on each end, leave about an inch hang out. And then I'm going to cut it in the middle. So I'll have two of these leg pieces. And what I found works easiest for me is I'm going to bring my thread back to the middle section here and 
I found it works a little bit easier for me if I tie it on the opposite side from me, so the side closest to you on the video here. And I'll just make like two wraps here. And it just, if I do it this way, it keeps it out of the way for the other one. If I do it on my side first, it seems to kind of get in the way a little bit. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to tweeze, tease these around, get them where I want them to be. Now they're out of the way on the front side of the vise from me. And uh, it's a little bit easier for me to work with. Now I'll put the other side on. i got to hop, hop my thread back here to the back ball. And then i put this other side on. And same thing. I'm going to pinch it up against the side here. Make about two wraps. And then bring my thread up to the front one. Okay, and there. There's my legs all taken care of. Now next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of deer hair. For the deer hair on this one, I'm using a piece of stimulator deer. Uh, use elk, whatever you have. Don't get real picky on this. This is just like a little wing for your for your fly. And I'm just going to cut a little chunk off. You can see here, it's not a big chunk. Mm, half pencil width, if even that. And I'm going to pull the fluff out like I always do here. So just pull the fluff out of the back into short pieces. And then I'm going to put them in my hair stacker. And I'll just make a couple taps with this, get these stacked up. Get the ends all the same length, or close to it. And then what I want to do is I want to sit this on the back of the fly, get it going. You can see almost to the back here. And see where that point is, and I'm going to trim the fronts off where I'm going to tie it in above those front legs. So I'm just going to come back, trim that off. I got a nice tight cut there. And all I'm going to do is set them on top. Again, make about two or three loose wraps. And pull it down tight and wrap through those ends. And that will hold that in place really nicely. Okay, you see how they stand up? That's fine. What we're going to do now is we're going to pull this foam back over. And make a nice little round head here. Making sure we keep it up on top. Okay, and then you can whip finish it back there or if you have a little room up at the front of the head there I like to whip finish it right behind the eye and because uh, I'm not usually my legs are out of the way there so and as I say that I get my legs tangled up so let me put one more quick whip finish on here drag these legs back out of the way here we go okay that is all to tying the fly. Now we got to get it trimmed up and finished. So what I do now is I'm going to take and I'm going to cut this at an angle. So you have just this little foam ball here. And uh, then the legs. I'm going to cut my legs at about maybe three quarters of an inch for the fronts. Okay, just try to try to catch cut them even there. Then the back legs, what I like to do is you have two pieces back here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate those two pieces and this one doesn't want to separate okay I'm going to separate them two and I'm going to cut one off short I'm going to cut one off and then I'm going to I'm going to go from two legs at the front to one leg at the back here I'm, let me pull it this way or you can kind of see it better and I'm going to do that on both sides. So I only have one leg on the bottom piece, or one strand on the bottom piece, and two on the top. And then just cut them to length. And that is all that is to the grasshopper pattern. Very simple pattern. It's going to float well. It's got that 5mm cork, or sorry, 5mm foam. It's going to float like a cork was what I meant to say. So give it a try. You're going to like it. Okay, as you saw, that wasn't hard to tie at all, and you can actually tie them pretty quick. You can hammer a bunch of these out and have them ready to go. So, go ahead and try this. It's an easy fly. Like I said, I like to um, do things in, you know, prep things before I get tying. If I know I want to tie like a dozen of them, I'll sit down and tie legs up for a dozen. Cut the slices of foam, whatever color I want, to the thickness that I want. And, you know, have it all ready and just sit down and hammer them out. They go a lot quicker that way. But either way you tie it, if you tie it that way or just regular, you know, just go as you go. 
it's still really easy to tie. You're going to like tying it. Um, give it a try. It's something new we just started to do, and we're going to go back into our old videos. Um, we are adding the material list on the description of the of the video. So if you go back to the YouTube page there, you see the description down there at the bottom of the video. If you scroll down, you're going to see the material list for the flies and links to the material at the shop. So anything you need, you want to pick up at the shop, you can click right on a button here on our website and you'll go right to it and order it. So thanks again guys. We're trying to keep it simple and uh, you know make the videos easy for you. I hope we're doing that. Um, Go ahead over, head, yeah, sorry, head over to our shop at wholesingersflyshop.com and as always, you know, you can find all the material to tie this fly and others there at the shop. Thanks for watching guys. Until next week, I'm Sean Holsinger. <laughs>